I think they enjoyed the Colin Moore video. I think you know the reception of it's been pretty good. It's got a few views already, and it's it's early in the day, you know. So I think a few people watch it. Uh, I mean, you know, I did. I left a bit out of it. To be honest. I wanted. To say, I should have mentioned the dogging for stuff and that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. no, well, no. I mean, you know, maybe now I've lost a bit of weight. I could do a bit of that dogging in the past. I always thought, you know, I wouldn't be able to get my todger through the window, you know what I mean? Because my belly would be on the glass, you know what I mean? Like pushed up, like pushed back. But now I've lost six stone, like, yeah, six stone. Yeah, yeah thanks. Um, you know, maybe I could get in there a bit. Like, but I'd be a bit paranoid that you got your todger out, put it through the window, and if some bird's there and you're like, you know, like, you know, and her, and her legs, what if she like hits that electric button, you know, for window, window shoots up and chops you, your thingy midget off. I don't know. But I didn't think it was the right kind of like content to uh, be discussing, really. You know, because um, I'm a serious YouTube vlogger. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> so let me get on with this video. All right. Uh, <clears throat> All right, guys. It is Wednesday, the sixth of March, two thousand and nineteen, and you're watching Copter that TV. All right. Plus, I'm from Yorkshire. Do you know what I mean? And if you were to go dogging around Scarpa, you'd freeze to fucking death. That's if you didn't get mugged in first place. <clears throat> How's it going, guys? You all right? Yeah? Um, so, I, I saw some uh, comments that just made me laugh out loud uh, by uh, former Liverpool defender uh, Glenn Johnson, who's had a dig at uh, Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers. Uh, and um, he's talking about them free envelopes thing. Do you remember in that documentary series... Uh, was it called Being Liverpool? Um, it, where, um, yeah, Being Liverpool. He did that motivational speech, didn't he? He says, there's three envelopes. Hang on, right, let's find out exactly what he said. Uh, <clears throat> Brendan Rodgers, do you remember everyone was howling at it? When I arrived here, the first few days were analysing the group, the staff, the players. I don't, he doesn't even talk like that, does he? Some more like fucking Shankly. I think there's three players who will let us down this year. The cause, the fight, everything, everything. And I have written them down already. Now, my point to you as players and staff is make sure you are not the one in the envelope because you are so important. If we are going to achieve to be the best we can, we need to be together. But I think there's three maximum who will let us down. Make sure you're not the one. So you must remember all that, because at the time I was watching it, I was thinking, what the fuck is this fucking... Uh... Anyway, so Glenn Johnson has been commenting about it, and he says, I remember I was looking around like, is he fucking serious? And you could bet your bottom dollar all those envelopes were empty. After that, it was a trying to get a reaction sort of speech. And then over the course of the season, hoping that everyone's forgotten about that meeting and no one brings it up. Uh, anyway, and he also accused Rodgers of trying to imitate Jose Mourinho, labelling him a tryhard. It sort of stems from when he was understudy to Mourinho at Chelsea. He's got so many mannerisms from him, which almost seems like sometimes he's trying to be Mourinho. You know when someone's trying too hard, it doesn't carry the same punch. Well, I tell you what, talking of punches, he needs punching in the fucking face for slagging his former manager off. Do you know what, guys? Brendan Rodgers, we can take the piss. We can call him deluded. We're not allowed to mention that today, maybe because of mental health issues and everything. Uh, <clears throat> we can call him deluded. We can say things about Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers gave his all for Liverpool Football Club, 100%. Might not have been good enough. Don't know why I'm doing this, but he did. Right? Can you say the same about Glenn Johnson? No. I don't. Glenn Johnson was disappointment, I think. So you can go fuck yourself. <clears throat> That's just my personal opinion, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I do get what Glenn's saying there, like, he's like, you know, imagine they're sat there as a player, thinking, what the fuck, what, what, what the fuck, can you imagine Alex Ferguson getting free envelopes out of there? Do you know what I'm saying? Who even has envelopes today? That's even more of a concern. Why did he have envelopes in the first place? Do you know what I mean? What did you think of that documentary at the time? It was a bit cringe, but still it was good to see, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Ian Eyre on his uh, on his little moped and that bombing around. Well, I know I know it was a motorcycle, but it certainly wouldn't sound funny. But I tell you what, I have been watching guys, or I started watching and I sat it on the head. Was the Sunderland documentary? Now I can't remember what it's called. Uh, what's it called? Sunderland FC documentary. Document. Something about believer. Some shit. Or was that the other one? I don't know. 
Can't even type. There we go. Sunderland's Netflix documentary. Sunderland Till I Die. All right, all right. Uh, it was 2017-18 season, was it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what year it was. Um, Eight-part series. Uh, anyway, so I started watching that, you know. I'm a football fan, and I like to watch anything that shows behind the scenes and that. And to be honest, for me... Um, there was the Manchester City one as well, wasn't there? That I didn't mind that one because that was um, what is it? I like to see a lot more. I like to see the boardroom stuff. I'm not really interested. Why do I want to see uh, bits and pieces of footage of the, the, the of games that I already know about and stuff like that? I mean, the playing stuff's cool, yeah. But I'm a bit more like, oh, I want to know what um, you know. What I want to know, like, I've got a message coming through on my screen, so I'm trying. I'm getting thrown off. I want to know. I want to. I want to know about like um, you know the boardroom stuff and the stuff that goes on in the background and stuff like that. I like that stuff. And there's quite a bit of that in the Man City one, wasn't there? Do you know what I mean? I don't mean I want to see Ian Air on his moped, <clears throat> but the Man City one they brought up uh, the conversations about Virgil Van Dijk, for example, when we were in for him and they were considering him. I like that. I like the CEO sort of stuff, chairman and all that. Little bit of that in the Sunderland one, which I quite liked, you know, because of the pressures. But I'll be honest with you, I think I got about two thirds of the way through the series and I haven't watched it since. I just thought it was a bit boring, you know what I mean? And it's not because they're not, um, I mean, I'm not interested in Sunderland. My uh, my son-in-law supports Sunderland, I guess. Um, but I, I will watch any, I mean, look at the, the BBC one, you know, that was originally BBC, the, uh, the Man United one about Salford. I mean, that was fucking incredible. Brilliant, brilliant view in that. And that again, that is again, it's it's more so about behind the scenes in terms of the um, the management. You know, I like that. I like that sort of stuff. So anyway, I don't know why I'm off and on about. Why did I bring that up anyway? In the oh, because we're talking about the Liverpool fucking thing, aren't we? So um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I just thought you might be uh, might be interested in uh, in Glenn Johnson uh, taking a pop at Brendan Rodgers. I mean, Brendan, good luck to him. You know, he's uh, he's got that new job now. I hope he does all right. Um, he should never have been Liverpool manager in the first place in my opinion uh, but there you go who cares about my opinion alright guys uh, what do you think Glenn Johnson we understand what he's saying don't we we understand that he's saying uh, what is it what the fuck are you on about sort of thing but is it, does he really need to go out and start taking pops at him about because he thought he was uh, Jose Mourinho definitely uh, definitely a bit of a uh, a vibe there, isn't there? Does, do any of you guys remember any, you know, signs back then that maybe there was something wrong with them? Was he excluded for a while? Was he moaning about not getting in the team? I can't remember. I can't remember. But um, I don't know. I still have a sense of loyalty to uh, more so to managers of Liverpool Football Club than I do players. I think. I don't know, I just think sometimes maybe stuff like that, just, you know, just fucking zip it. I don't care anyway. I don't give a fuck about either of them if I'm completely honest. Right guys, I'm off. It's dinner time. Oh, hang on, hang on, dinner time, it's dinner. Well, it depends what part of the UK you're from, what part of England, because if you're from the north, I would say it's breakfast, dinner, tea. But if you're a ponce from the south of England, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, isn't it? But they're called dinner ladies, aren't they? They're not called lunch ladies, you know what I'm saying? But the argument to that is, it's a lunch box, not a dinner box. I don't know, what do you think? Is it is it lunch or dinner that I'm about to have? Yeah, at midday. Do you know what I am having? Bacon chop. Fucking get it. Do you know what bacon chop is? It's a chop of bacon, that's right, yeah? It's bacon, but like, like that, like fucking, like that, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you fucking girl, fucking girl, fucking girl. <laughs>